Hello. As you may know, if you're watching this channel, I've made multiple videos on getting ray tracing running in many Source Engine games. I've also then had a lot of requests on how to do it. Now, there is a tutorial in my Discord server, but some people would prefer a video, so I finally caved. Here's your video on how to get ray tracing running in most Source Engine games. For this specific example, I'm going to use Team Fortress 2. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to ask in the Discord server, we'll be happy to help. And if you haven't seen any of the videos showing off the ray tracing, I highly recommend you check them out. The link to the playlist will be in the description. So the first thing you want to do is download two things. You will need Reshade, which can be found here if you just search for Reshade, the link will be in the description. You hit download, that button's just there, you press that. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. The second thing you do is you'll need to join the Patreon of Pascal Glitcher. Now this will cost you £4.50 a month. Uh, I don't know what it is in other currencies, but you only need to join for one month to get the download link. You'll need to join the beta branch, and you don't need to stay subscribed. Of course, you can if you want to support Pascal Glitcher, and I highly recommend you do. He has some great stuff, but you don't need to. It can just be a one-time payment of £4.50 if you don't want to get future updates of the mod. Once you've joined his Patreon, you'll need to make sure that you've connected your Discord and your Patreon. You'll then be invited to a Discord server where you can find the download link for the file. Once you've got both those files, you're going to want to start reshade, run reshade underscore setup, and bring up a window like this. You're going to press this big button here, click here to select a game and manage its restage, reshade installation. It'll then bring up a long list of all of the games you have installed that it can find. If you have lots of games installed like I do, it's often easier just to hit browse and find the location of your game. I already have it open here, TF2. But of course, if you don't know how to find it, the easiest way is to open Steam, Library, find Team Fortress 2, right click, Manage, Browse Local Files. This will then bring up your local file window. Then just copy this link here with Control C or copy and paste any way you normally do. Head back over to Reshade, paste it in here, press enter and it'll take you to this, this page and it should look something like this. Then what you need to do is select hl2.exe, press open and it will load this. Now this bit's important, you'll need to install the correct packages. The one you need is Quint by Marty McFly, so you want to check that. The other ones you don't need for this effect to work, but you can install any of the other ones that you want if you want to mess about. Note the more you select, the longer it will take to install Reshade. Then you press OK. And it'll download the effects. Make sure all of this is selected, then press OK. Same with this one, press OK. If prompted, make sure you select Direct3D9, as that is the version of DirectX that Team Fortress 2 uses. If it says Reshade setup was successful, just press the X, you're done with that now. Next, what you need to do is go to your game files, and you'll see here. Now, sometimes it will put the files necessary inside the bin file, but it doesn't always do that. So if you have other files here that weren't here when you started, what you'll need to do is find the files labeled reshade shaders d3d9.dll and d3d9.log as well as if I can find it reshade.ini. So you'll need those files and you'll need to, if you find them, if you find that they're here and not in the bin file, you'll just need to copy them into the bin folder because source needs them in there for this to work. Then what you'll need to do is open reshade shaders and open your reshade file. You'll see it's got two files in it, textures and shaders, which max up, match up to textures and shaders in here. Just select both drag and drop them into the reshade shaders file and it'll merge the files adding the reshade ray tracing. This next step isn't required but it can help. If you head to my discord server, you scroll down to ray tracing files and you download the any file relating to whatever you want to install it to. You've got Portal, Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead 2, Gary's Mod, Half-Life 2 and The Sims 4. Of course we're doing Team Fortress 2 so we want to install that. Now you can configure reshade any way you want, but if you want it just done for you, if you download this, head back to your bin file and drag in rtx underscore tf2. And then you're done on Fireland, you're ready to launch Team Fortress 2 and set it up. 
Okay, once you're in game, you should see this appear at the top. So what you want to do is press the home key and launch this. You can read this if you want to continue the tutorial or you can just skip it. And here you'll see a list of all the shaders that you have. Before we go turning any of them on, if you want to be able to switch between ray tracing on and off on the fly, you want to set an effect toggle key. I usually set mine to the asterisk. Then you need to head over to the D3D9 tab, select copy depth buffer before clear operations. Finally, before enabling anything, you need to go into the game settings, video, advanced, and make sure anti-aliasing is disabled, as this will mess with the depth buffer. Finally, open reshade again, and you can start messing around with the shaders if you do wish to, or if you'd rather use the pre-configured version that I've made, press this top bar up here, find rtx underscore tf 2any click on that, and press select. It will then compile all the effects and load them up. I hope this tutorial helped you, and if you do need any more help, feel free to join our Discord server or leave a comment down below. Whilst we're here, I've had major problems with my graphics card, as I'm sure many of you who already know me will know. I've had to send it back, but it could take one to two months to get repair, which is why main videos are currently on hold. If you wish to help out, there's some links in the description to my Twitter page where I'm tweeting at some graphics card manufacturers to see if they can help me out here. Also, I have a second channel, Half Peeps Clips. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to that too. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have fun playing with ray tracing in your Source Engine games.